Everybody's fished a jig and pig before and there's no doubt they're very effective as jigs or as swim baits or even as uh, topwater baits, skimming them over mats and that type of thing. But there's definitely a limitation on the size of the trailers that you can actually find uh, commercially out on the market. So I want to show you how I actually cast my own oversized jig trailer. Here you can see what it looks like on a G&H offshore lure head as well as a J-Mac lure head with a weed guard and also simply Texas rigged without a jig head and used as a topwater. I started by taking a twin tail design that Larry and I had used for making a wiggly tail uh, that we never really used but I love the design of the tail and I've used it for a number of different things like uh, some different topwater baits and that type of thing. So I sculpted a body uh, that was just a simple kind of football shape that would be the beginning of a jig trailer and I attached with Sculpey uh, the twin tail that I cast out of resin. So using modeling clay we make a flat bed and lay our jig trailer into the clay. And then carefully sculpt the clay up to the halfway point around the lure. This is going to act as the second half of our mold so we can pour the first half. Once we have the trailer clayed up, we construct a mold box using some corrugated plastic, some super glue, and some hot melt to seal it to the bottom. Then we make some locators so the two halves of the mold will align, mix up our quick set silicone rubber mixed in a 10 to 1 by weight ratio. Once we mix it thoroughly, we go ahead and pour it slowly into our mold box and then let it cure overnight. Once the quick set is cured, we flip it over and remove all of the clay off the original, but do not remove the trailer from the first half of the mold that we just poured. We don't want to break that seal. You can see our locators came out well, and now we need to remove every speck of clay, especially the stuff right on the seam line of the part. It's very critical to get all the clay off of the master and off of the mold before we pour the second half. Once our mold's all clean, we need to make sure to mold release it very well. Here we're using Illuminate's UMR mold release. This will release the two halves of the silicone and prevent them from bonding to each other. Mold release is required when making two-piece molds. The silicone will bond extremely well to itself. Once the second half of the mold is cured, go ahead and remove your original. Cut where we want to pour the alumisol into the mold and you're ready to pour. Here we're using some Aluma dust to give it some color, heating up our Aluma saw, and pouring it. We pour the tail section first to make sure the tips get completely filled. Then we stain it upright and finish pouring it into the sprue that we cut. Once the Illumisol is cooled, go ahead and remove your clamps, separate the two halves of the mold, and remove your jig trailer. With your hands or with scissors, go ahead and trim the flash and you're ready to fish it.